Gait simply means the way a person walks. Gait analysis is analyzing the way a person walks to see if there's anything wrong with them. To make gait analysis easy, we only look at one leg at any given time. We call this the reference limb, which I've colored here in red. Instead of steps or seconds, we measure time in terms of the gait cycle, which is a complete stride with the reference limb, measured from one heel strike, when the foot first touches the ground, to the next time the foot hits the ground. For a successful gait cycle, the reference limb must do three things, which we call gait tasks. First is weight acceptance, meaning the leg can't collapse when you first stand on it. The second is single limb support, meaning the leg must hold you up while your momentum is carried forward. The last is limb advancement. The leg must swing forward and get ready to start the cycle again. The gait cycle is separated into two main sections. Stance is when the reference limb is on the ground, and this takes up about 60% of the gait cycle. Swing is the remaining 40% of the gait cycle, when the reference limb is in the air. Stance can be further separated into phases. Initial contact is the first 2% of the gait cycle, until we reach double support, which is when both limbs are supporting the body weight. Next is the loading response, which covers 10% of the cycle, until the point of contralateral toe off, which is when the other leg is no longer on the ground. The next 19% of the gait cycle is mid-stance, which makes sense since it is in the middle of the stance. There is the terminal stance phase for another 19% of the gait cycle. After there is contralateral contact, meaning the other foot has touched the ground, pre-swing is when the reference limb pushes off the ground. This phase covers 12% of the cycle. Swing can be separated into three phases. Initial swing, which is the first 13% until we reach maximum knee flexion, or in other words, the greatest knee bend. Mid-swing is 12% from then until the lower leg is vertical. Terminal swing is the remaining 13% of the cycle until the next contact, and the cycle goes again. By analyzing the gait cycle, we can measure things like walking speed, step length, cadence, symmetry, stability, and the angles at the hip, knee, and ankle joints. These are all helpful indicators that our patient is healthy and functioning well physiologically. When doing gait analysis, we might also notice symptoms like contralateral drop, where the opposite side of the hip drops during the loading response. Or we might notice hiking, where the reference side of the hip lifts to help the leg swing forward. A sideways lean or lateral lean as well as forwards lean and backwards lean will also become obvious when we do gait analysis. If you found this video helpful and would like to see more like it, leave a suggestion in the comments below.